Hello, and welcome to St. Stephen Martyr Church. Today is Sunday, January the 3rd, and we celebrate the solemnity of the Epiphany of our Lord. We were once in darkness, ignorant of God and under the power of sin and death. But the Lord has shown his face on us, calling us here to new life by the light of a star, the light of Christ. Jesus offers himself for the life of the world. Let us turn from the ways of darkness and receive him with joy in this Eucharist. My brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Please stand. We three kings of Orient are bearing gifts. We traverse afar, field and fountain, moor and mountain, following yonder star. Oh, star of wonder, star of night. Star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. Born a king on Bethlehem's plain, gold I bring to crown him again. King forever, ceasing never over us all to reign. Oh, star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light oh star of wonder star of night star with royal beauty bright westward leading still proceeding guide us to thy perfect light guide us to In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Blessings, everyone, and welcome once again to our Mass here at St. Stephen Church. And thank you so very much, Lord, for this Mass, for um, this um, very important day as we celebrate the, the feast or the solemnity of the Epiphany, you manifesting, Lord, yourself, or God showing, revealing to all nations his greatest gift, his only begotten Son, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We appreciate, Lord, this greatest gift you've given us, more precious than anything in this world. And um, we also are very happy to have you with us, joining us in this Mass, all of you, my dear people of God, watching this, uh, this Mass. We offer this Mass for, for all your intentions. Lord, please listen to our prayers. It's a difficult time. Please heal us. Please strengthen our faith. 
please provide for us. And we are happy also, we're blessed to have with us Lourdes and Judy and EJ and JR. And JR offering this mass for your beloved father who just passed away. Was it yesterday, JR? Eternal rest grant unto Adolfo, Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace, amen. May his soul and all the souls of the faithful departed to the mercy of God. Rest in peace, amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who on this day revealed your only begotten Son to the nations by the guidance of a star, 
grant in your mercy that we who know you already by faith may be brought to behold the beauty of your sublime glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Rise up in splendor, Jerusalem. Your light has come. The glory of the Lord shines upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick clouds cover the peoples. But upon you the Lord shines, and over you appears his glory. Nations shall walk by your light, and kings by your shining radiance. Raise your eyes and look about. They all gather and come to you. Your sons come from afar, and your daughters in the arms of their nurses. Then you shall be radiant at what you see. Your heart shall throb and overflow. For the riches of the sea shall be emptied out before you. The wealth of nations shall be brought to you. Caravans of camels shall fill you, dromedaries from Midian and Ephah. All from Sheba shall come, bearing gold and frankincense, and proclaiming the praises of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you, O God. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. O God, with your judgment and with your justice on every one, for you govern your people with justice and your afflicted ones with righteousness. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. O God, Lord, every Justice shall flower in your days, in peace till the moon be no more. May your kingdom reach from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Tarshish and the Isle shall bring tribute, gifts from Seba and Arabia. All other powers shall pay their homage, and every nation shall serve the Lord. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. shall rescue the poor when they cry out and the afflicted when help can't be found you shall raise up the lowly and the poor and those on high shall be cast down 
Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Oh God, Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Lectura de la Carta del Apóstol San Pablo a los Efesios Hermanos, han oído hablar de la distribución de la gracia de Dios que se me ha confiado en favor de ustedes. Por revelación se me dio a conocer este designio secreto que no había sido manifestado a los hombres en otros tiempos, pero que ha sido revelado ahora por el Espíritu a sus santos apóstoles y profetas. Es decir, que por el Evangelio también los paganos son coherederos de la misma herencia, miembros del mismo cuerpo y partícipes de la misma promesa en Jesucristo. Palabra de Dios. Te alabamos, Señor. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of King Herod, behold, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem, saying, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw a star at its rising and have come to do him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was greatly troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. Assembling all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it's been written through the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, since from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and ascertained from them the time of the star's appearance. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the child. When you found him, Bring me word that I too may go and do him homage. After their audience with the king, they set out. And behold, the star that they had seen at its rising preceded them until it came and stopped over the place where the child was. They were overjoyed at seeing the star. And on entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, they prostrated themselves and did him homage. Then they opened their treasures and offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed for their country 
by another way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please bear with me if I will be reading to you some names which I would like to I would like us to pray for these people at this Mass. We pray for, once again, we pray for your father, J.R. Oh, we pray for the family of J.R., the De La Rosa family. Um, Daddy Adolfo, may you rest in peace. And also, we pray for Edda, Zenaida Edda, B. Canlis. My condolences to Dennis. Dennis is uh, from Arco nearby, and he gives me the food of Adelinda. So Dennis praying for your, uh, for your aunt, Edda. And Adelinda, we offer this Mass for you too. Adelinda is the one who frequently provides food for me. Thank you, Paul. Adelinda, appreciate it. And also we pray for Annalisa Gonzalez. We pray for the repose of the soul of Ricardo Cienfuegos. We pray for Eduardo Gavino, mom doing my job. Mission accomplished. And by the way, Mom, Happy New Year, and Ate A. Luther, um, I hope you enjoyed your celebration of uh, also of Dad's birthday. Dad's birthday is the 1st of uh, January, so that was two days ago. So happy birthday, Dad. We also offer this Mass for you. Love you, Dad. And also um, uh, praying for my sister Tess and my best, my best uh, brother-in-law, Tony, and also baby me, Mary Elizabeth. We pray for Annie Gonzalez. We pray for the um, 50, we pray for Pio and Nessi celebrating their 54th wedding anniversary. So happy anniversary, Kuya Pio and Ate Nessi, another wonderful couple, always, always providing for my needs and also, Belated happy birthday, Ati Nessie. So, Nessie Rancavilla. This is the Rancavilla couple. And also, um, praying for, uh, for Ati A. Ati A, birthday. Happy birthday. Love you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you, Ati A. Ati Asan. Magao. Berlon. And also, um, thank you for all you do for, for me and my family. Uh, taking care of mom. Appreciate it, Ati A. And also, we pray for, for my tata. Tata is Protasio Magdaong, the brother of my dad, older brother, and he was the one who took care of me when I was little. Thank you, tata. I love you, tata, for all the cooking, for all the uh, patience, taking good care of me. Love you, tata. Eternal rest and granted to tata, O Lord. Perpetual light shine upon him. Amen. So uh, probably you have made your New Year's resolution by now. It's January 3rd, so uh, my New Year's resolution is to uh, cut down my, um, my homily from one hour to 30 minutes. So thank you for your patience. And also, um, do you know where, uh, where the Christmas tree came from? Because some, some people from other religions Christians, or uh, some criticize the Catholics for the Christmas trees. Is that, is that from the Bible? What is that? That's, it's not, oh, that's a pagan tradition or a custom. You know what? It's from the Bible. You didn't see it. It originated as far as when Christ was born. There was a Christmas tree. Christmas tree, Melchior, Gaspar, Balthazar, the, the tree kings, as we Filipinos say, trailing. So anyway, the Christmas tree. So we are from Christmas tree to Christmas tree. So uh, that's what J.R. sang. Uh, J.R., can we sing again the song? Even just the first stanza, Thank you, Jailer. Appreciate it. Listen to the words, the lyrics of this song. We three kings. 
Christmas 3, um, Melchior, or we, we say Melchior, Gaspar, Balthasar. Um, these three kings, or magi, wise men, astrologers, were people who truly appreciated, who truly valued this greatest gift God has given us the newborn king, Jesus, the Messiah. They truly appreciate it. How did they show it? We, three kings of Orient, are bearing gifts. They gave gifts. When you appreciate somebody, you, you give somebody a gift. What was that gift? To me, they didn't even have to bring gifts like gold, which symbolized the kingship of Jesus, frankincense symbolizing the, the godly character of Jesus, and myrrh that God will die in the future to offer his life for us. They didn't even have to bring all those gifts. Probably they're heavy. Huh? I wonder how, how heavy they were. Imagine the sacrifice of bearing them, carrying them, this load as they search for Jesus. To me, the greatest gift they've ever given to Jesus was the time they've, they've spent looking for Jesus. <laughs> I don't know how long they, it took them to, to find Jesus, but imagine the travel, the travel, uh, bearing gifts. We traveled afar. Are you willing to travel that far, <laughs> like the three kings? And unfortunately, okay, let's say the, the three kings symbolized or represented the foreigners outside the chosen people of God. It only means that the, the epiphany is the manifestation, the revelation of, of God himself, not only to the Jews, represented by the shepherds and not the rich, learned, shep uh, learned Jewish people like the chief priests and scribes who knew exactly where Jesus was to be born, but it was the shepherds who, who were invited by, the, by God, by, by the angel. It's, it's strange. And so Jewish and Gentiles represented by the Magi, men from the, from, uh, how do you say that, from the East. So they, they gave, they gave themselves, they, uh, they showed up, they showed up. While these people who were just 14 kilometers, kilometers away from, from the birthplace of Jesus didn't show up. Those men who said, who were consulted by Herod, where is this, this king you're telling me will be born? In Bethlehem. But did they do something? No, nothing, nada. They knew it, but they didn't try looking for Jesus to pay him homage. While these men traveled far distance, far distance, a true expression of their appreciation of this newborn king. They didn't care how, how long it will be, this travel. They didn't care how difficult it will be. It's cold. They were, they were not driving Maserati, dude. They were <laughs> on a camel's back. That's how it's, uh, they're represented in the greeting cards. Camel, slow, slowly 
traveling, trekking, journeying, looking for this greatest gift God has ever given us. And unfortunately, sometimes, or even oftentimes, we behave like the Jewish people. I'm not saying everybody, but, but like the scribes and Pharisees, they, they, those who learned people, who knew the scripture, they knew. They knew where Jesus was to be born, and yet they didn't do anything. They were not appreciative of this baby. For the, for the three kings, for the, th for the magi, they, it is ironic that these were the people who had faith. Enough faith to see that this is not just a... Oh, by the way, I've been talking about the baby Jesus here. Lord, where's the baby Jesus here? <sighs> Maybe you have Jesus in your heart, huh? Amen, Judy? <laughs> That's supposed to be the place, not this one. I think Jesus was in the hearts of these three people, three kings, who, who, were, who, who were so happy. They, they saw the king in this newborn baby. They saw something special. That this is the promised king who will be born to save mankind from sin. And hopefully, hopefully, this, these three men, wise men, today reminds us or will remind us of the wisdom of truly appreciating what God has given us. <sighs> Better appreciate your hair before it's gone. You better appreciate <laughs> better appreciate your dad, right, JR? Before before your dad is gone. Mm. Appreciation. That's why I really appreciate you, JR, and EJ and Judy and Lourdes and all of you, my dear people of God of St. Stephen. All the people had helped me, like my dad. Dad, I love you. At the A. Luther, all these wonderful people who had, who had helped me. I appreciate all you. Before, when I was younger, I, I barely appreciated what I was given. I even complained. <sighs> I was a whiner. I, I always just see the, what's, what's not there, what's missing. As Tony Robbins said, Tony Robbins said, this is, Beautiful quote. Trade expectation to appreciation. Or is it correct? Two or four. Trade expectation for appreciation and your life will change instantly. That I tell you. Are you a person who keeps expecting this is what I'm supposed to be given. This is what, what it's supposed to. This is what I deserve. I don't have it. Give it to me. Instead, just like these three wise men, appreciative. Lord, thank you. Thank you for baby Jesus. You know, we, because of the economy, we might not have been given a bonus. No, <laughs> no Christmas bonus. But you know, Lord, I don't care. I don't really care. What I care about is you've given me, by the way, Lourdes, what's this? This box here. I wonder what this box is. May I open it? I'm nervous about this gift here. Let me see. Oh no. Is this what these 
people here are looking at, but he's not there. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. And thank you to the person that gave me this beautiful box. This beautiful box. Oh, my Lord and my God, Jesus. You know what? Have you ever experienced, you know, the difference between Filipinos and <laughs> Americans is <sighs> Americans would, when given a gift, they open it in front of the giver. But Filipinos will, thank you. <laughs> Chair, would you agree? <laughs> you do you open your, your gift in front of the giver? I'm not comfortable doing that, but I just say thank you, of course, with appreciation, with gratitude, and, and I don't dare open. I don't know why. It's, maybe we're timid, or, but anyway, you know, sometimes <laughs> when we do what the Americans do, like when we ask the person to open the gift we've given, what if the person said, oh, no. What would you feel? <laughs> you know, I know a person who got offended when somebody opened her gift and the person said, oh no, <laughs> maybe, maybe that's our reaction. Just this baby, humble baby, what am I supposed to do with that? Lack of appreciation. Hmm, that's very sad. I don't care about that baby. I don't care about the holy family. But I hope we will become like these shepherds, the three wise men, the angel, Mama Mary and Jesus, and Joseph. So appreciative, so thankful for the gift the greatest gift God has given us is baby Jesus. You know, let me end with a word. Appreciation. Maybe this is one of, one of the good New Year's resolutions you could have to be always appreciative this year. Yes, we have pandemic. We have less money, less food. But that should never, that should never make us stop appreciating God's blessings. The gift of health, the gift of wonderful people patiently looking after us, patiently putting up with us. The gift of faith, gift of friends, church, Catholic church, education. Oh, there's so much. I hope we will be appreciative the whole year of 2021. But let me go back to this word, appreciation. What if we tweak the word a little bit into appreciation? <laughs> From appreciation to appreciation. These people appeared before Jesus because they saw that Jesus was a gift. The scribes and Pharisees who knew everything, they didn't show up. They didn't show up because he's not important. But for us, I hope, I, I hope, all of us will always show ourselves. Besides Jesus revealing himself to us, we also reveal how grateful we are for being the God who came down and became, became man to be with us, or Emmanuel. Love you, Jesus.
Let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him, all things were made for as men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Amen. Together with a universal church spread throughout the world, let us turn to our faithful God, knowing that he hears and answers the prayers of those in need. For the church, that she may be a light to all nations, leading all to the good news of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all nations of the earth, that they come to know the greatness of God's providence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those entrusted with governess of peoples and nations, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a return to seeking wisdom as a holy and human pursuit, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who live in fear of strangers and others whom they have never encountered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those whose journey is difficult and whose spirits are weary, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For astronomers, astronauts, and others who study the skies to improve our lives and understanding, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the gift of hospitality toward people of every language culture, creed, and way of life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pause for a moment and remember all of our intentions, our petitions, our needs, people we've promised to pray for. And let us lift them all up to our Heavenly Father. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of creation, by the light of a star, the Magi sought and found Jesus, the Savior of the world. Hear our prayers that in being attentive to your presence and grace in our own lives, we might be a source of light for others. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. angel of the Lord came to the shepherds. Fear not, I bring good tidings of great joy. This day in David's city, your Savior is born. Let glory fall. 
Pray, my dear family, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His church. Look with favor, Lord, we pray, on these gifts of your church and which are offered now, not gold or frankincense and myrrh, but He who by them is proclaimed, sacrificed, and received. Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for today you've revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Santo, 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 Santo es el Señor, Dios del universo, llenos está en el cielo. Y la tierra de tu gloria, oh sana en el cielo, oh sana en el cielo. Bendito el que viene en el nombre del Señor, oh sana. Cielo, oh sana en el cielo. Oh. 
Santo eres en verdad, Señor, fuente de toda santidad, por eso te pedimos que santifiques estos dones con la efusión de tu Espíritu, de manera que se conviertan para nosotros en el cuerpo y la sangre de Jesucristo nuestro Señor, el cual cuando iba a ser entregado a su pasión voluntariamente aceptada, tomó pan, dándote gracias, lo partió a sus, y lo dio a sus discípulos diciendo, tomen y coman todos de él, porque esto es mi cuerpo que será entregado por ustedes. Del mismo modo, acabar la cena, tomó el cáliz y dándote gracias de nuevo, lo pasó a sus discípulos diciendo, tomen y beban todos de él, porque este es el cáliz de mi sangre, sangre de la alianza nueva y eterna, que será derramada por ustedes y por muchos para el perdón de los pecados. Hagan esto en conmemoración mía. Este es el sacramento de nuestra fe. Anunciamos tu muerte, proclamamos tu resurrección. Ven, Señor Jesús, ven, Señor Jesús. Así pues, Padre, al celebrar ahora el memorial de la muerte y resurrección de tu Hijo, te ofrecemos el pan de vida y el cáliz de salvación. Y te damos gracias porque nos haces dignos de servirte en tu presencia. Te pedimos humildemente que el Espíritu Santo congregue en la unidad a cuantos participamos del cuerpo y la sangre de Cristo. <coughs> Acuérdate, Señor, de tu iglesia extendida por toda la tierra y con el Papa Francisco con nuestro arzobispo José y todos los pastores que cuidan de tu pueblo, lleva la su perfección por la caridad. Acuérdate también de nuestros hermanos que se durmieron en la esperanza de la resurrección y de todos los que han muerto en tu misericordia. Admíralos a contemplar la luz de tu rostro. Let's now pause for a moment and pray for our loved ones who have passed away. Ten misericordia de todos nosotros y así con María, la Virgen Madre de Dios, su esposo San José, los apóstoles y cuando se vieron en tu amistad. <coughs> A través de, de los tiempos merezcamos de tu Hijo Jesucristo compartir la vida eterna y cantar tus alabanzas.
por Cristo con él y en él, a ti Dios Padre omnipotente, en la unidad del Espíritu Santo, todo honor y toda gloria por los siglos de los siglos. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, H.A., J.R., Judy, Lourdes. Peace, my dear people of God, those who are um, from this parish, St. Stephen, and those who are joining us, especially from the Philippines, Mom, Ate Luther, Ate Kreti Bibini. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Spiritual act of communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Oh, come all 
ye faithful? Come with your gifts. Come, all ye faithful, with all that life bears. Come with your fears. Come with your tears. God is present here. to the suffer of the Let us pray. Go before us with heavenly light, O Lord, always and everywhere. 
that we may perceive with clear sight and revere with true affection the mystery in which you have willed us to participate through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you so very much for joining us, my dear people of God, joining us in celebrating this Mass. This Mass is both a, uh, a thanking God for the blessings uh, the past year, 2020, and uh, for also uh, for thanking God for another year and asking God to, um, to help us appreciate every blessing it gives us this year. Lord, thank you for this, uh, for the old year and this new year, 2021. Thank you for, uh, for all of our friends who had served with me this Mass. Thank you, JR, for a beautiful Christmas fusion uh, uh, communion song that's beautiful. And uh, thank you for coming over in spite of the fact that your dad passed away yesterday. You still have, you still had the time to come here. That's, that's what appreciation is all about. G uh, thank you, JR. And also, thank you, EJ, for all this uh, uh, recording our Mass. Trudy, I love you. Thank you for coming over. One of the best lectures we have here. Although you like uh, St. Thomas more um, better than uh, St. Stephen, but that's okay. But anyway, uh, thank you. <laughs> just teasing, uh, just teasing, Trudy. I know you love me and St. Stephen too. Thank you, Lourdes. Appreciate it. Muy, muy agradecido. The Lord be with you, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying God by your lives. Thanks be to God. Again, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, everyone. God bless you. Love you. I mean, St. Thomas Aquinas. Thank you. Rocks, hills, and plains repeat the sounding joy. Repeat.